What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Q that Rude Boy, aka Dwayne Man, man, man. We back in like crack at it. You already know how I'm rocking, man. Look. Today, we're coming at y'all with this Nav vocal effect tutorial because he came out with that album, Rackless. Rackless, you feel me? I ain't Rico, but it's Rackless. Rackless. All that, I'm phone him. You feel me? So, with no further ado, man, let's get into this prank dang thing right after these messages. Boom. You won't get it out of me. I want to thank everybody for coming back to the channel guys you already know how we rock it man look i'm family we family man we in this together so if you want to be part of this family and you're not already first of all i don't know what you're doing here but look welcome to the family guys subscribe down low make sure you turn on that notification buttons make sure you guys like comment and subscribe like i just said already you already know how i'm rocking and if you haven't subscribed to the wave monopoly channel already make sure you do that link is in the description you feel me now i gotta shout out my family one time you already know how i'm rocking so let's get into the prank thing thing right about now 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 you feel me all right the first shot i want to give goes to william marini marini not dr feeney feel me not mr feeney and my next shout out goes to mickey beats barcy man i hope i'm saying your name right you already know how you're rocking man i want to appreciate you i appreciate you for leaving a comment on the Instagram. hand you already know how i'm rocking man if you want to be next to get a shout out on the channel you already know what to do man head to the instagram at cute boy and follow your boy on twitter as well and just leave a genuine comment you already know how you're rocking man you could be the next on the channel you hear me so let's get right into the brain thing thing let me show you how you're rocking you already know how you're rocking man let's get let me show you what we're gonna get into today you feel me let's get it wasn't the plan, homie I only came here for the dome I'm caught in a jam, homie Happens when you are the man, homie I'm 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 the man, homie Please don't dab me up I don't really know you you the type that can't move without a whole crew Type the wife for shorty who done ran the whole crew You ain't wife her, nigga, she wiped you Oh no You ain't know that shorty was a hoe Don't know what part of the game that goes She only want me cause I'm poppin' with the fame Niggas flexin' for the grand, that shit too lame I'm never merging, I just stay up in my lane Got more money, but I'm really still the same yeah, you already know guys if you want to hear the rest of that song you already know what to do man head to the SoundCloud And you already know link is in the description for the FLP vocal preset download So make sure you guys check that out if you're interested. Let's get into the brain thing thing right now I'm not trying to hold y'all too long. You already know how I'm rocking man. Let's get it man First things first if you want to sound like any artist guys you have to sound like that artist Now specifically with Nav, he kind of has like a nasally tone uh, Kind of higher in the range you feel me, but nonetheless we're gonna get into the mixing, how to achieve that type of vocal. So, first things first, Nav is a melodic type of rapper. So, with that, hand in hand comes the auto tune. So, let's get right into this brain thing thing. You guys know if you watch my channel that the auto tune is largely dependent on the beat and the beat basically only. You feel me? So, a beat will have basically a key and a scale of which it should be in when you're singing. So, for this beat that I was received from, shout out that boy Celeb, Hitmaker. His links are in the description. You feel me? Shout out to him. They were produced by C yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, produced this beat. And so for this beat, it was a, a key of C and a major scale. And that was that. Now, there's one thing I'm going to show you guys that makes all the difference, okay? After I get through this. Retune speed of four. We want a pretty fast retune speed because... When Nav basically is rapping and doing his uh, melodic type of rap, you can hear the auto tune, but it's not too much to distract you. And the way that his flow is basically going and cadenced, the auto tune is not too activated on the vocal to where it sounds like a T-Pain type of effect. Also, we want to turn the humanize up, but you feel me? Just to kind of balance it out, you know, counteract each other. Now, the main thing I'm going to show y'all guys is right here, the throat length, okay? I don't usually touch this, guys. And you don't want to go too OD with it because you will start sounding like Alvin and the Chipmunk if you keep playing with me. So stop playing with me. Stop playing with me and stop playing with me. Look, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what this does. First of all, it's not even going to be gauged and it's going to be at 100. So what you're going to want to do is to achieve that, uh, I guess, the higher voice type of range for me. I just needed just a little bit of, just a little bit more help on it. You feel me? I went ahead and used the throat length. So you want to click format and then you want to uh, basically move this from 100 to 99. 
all right now I'm gonna show you the difference with the auto tune on and auto tune off and also with the formats on and off so we'll start with uh, auto tune off in general I'm the man, homie, I'm the man, homie Please don't dab me up, I don't really know you You the type that can't move without a whole crew Type the wife for shorty who done ran the whole crew You ain't wife her, nigga, she wiped you Oh no You ain't know that shorty was a hoe You feel me? So that's with the auto-tune off and on And now let me turn the format off and on So guys, stay, uh, really listen for the tone of the voice, okay? I'm the man, homie, I'm the man, homie me up, I don't really know you. Really know you. you the type that can't move without a whole crew. Type the wife for shorty who done ran the whole crew. You ain't wife her, nigga, she wiped you. Oh no, you ain't know that shorty was a hoe. Don't know what part of the game that go. She only want me cause I'm popping with the fame. Niggas flexing for the grand, that shit too lame. So guys, if you can hear what that did, that kind of brings my voice just a little bit higher. You know, just helps me out, just get that nav type of vocal. All right, next thing is. Parametric EQ2 guys You already know how we rock it man First things first We're gonna do a high pass cut If you guys watch me You know a high pass cut Allows the highs to pass You feel me? So This is basically to take Some of the low end out So we can get A cutting vocal You feel me? So what we did We did a cut At um, a high pass cut At about 190 hertz And what you can see right here We did a uh, dip In the 237 hertz range Which is basically taking the bass out of the vocal You feel me? Uh, there's a boxy bass type of thing When you record into a microphone It kind of becomes like a bass type of thing So we wanted to take that out Next thing we did We did a... Um uh, boost at the 3400 range because we wanted the mid range the mid highs to come through because nav vocals really cut in those mid ranges and um the next thing we did we did another boost at the eight the eight the 800 uh, range right here so that's what we did guys just to get that high end in there so next thing we did after that guys we got another parametric eq when we did another boost at the 13,000 range just to get that r&b air over top guys you know i like that r&b air just as Nas vocals, they really cut and they actually have like that kind of whisper over the top of the track to make it really stand out in the track. So I'll play this with and without that and let's get into it. I'm the man, homie, I'm the man, homie. You don't dab me up, I don't really know you. You the type that can't move without a whole crew. Type the wife for shorty who done ran the whole crew. You ain't wife her, nigga, she wiped you. Oh no. You ain't know that shorty was a hoe. Big facts, you guys see EQing is one of the major parts of vocal mixing in general, so make sure you guys take your time on the EQ. Next, we have just a simple de -esser, guys. You already know. Get the Maximus, go into the preset, and it is DS narrow band, all right? Boom, and make sure you move the threshold so this can actually hit, and that just takes out the siblings. You already know how I'm rocking, just a sweet. You don't want to sound like Mike Tyson when you come in on the track. You don't want to be, oh, snow, so you know, now that throaty weather. Th you feel what I'm saying? So that just takes out that sibling, those S's, that s -s -s -s. You feel me? Next thing we did was got the fruity uh, compressor, guys, and we just wanted to compress the vocals because we want the vocals to ride along the track in basically one way. We don't want to be going from a low volume to a super high volume, screaming in your ear, people turning off your tracks for who knows what, you feel me? You don't want the mixing to be the reason why somebody turns off your track, you feel me? So basically the uh, fundamentals of the mixing of compression is a fast attack, um, the ratio, because you want it to basically compensate for how much you want to take off when it's actually hitting the threshold, so your threshold as well, but just basically a fast attack and um, a kind of a fast release too. And if you want, you turn up the gain to compensate for your gain loss, okay? So that's what we did there. Now we went further with that, we got the fruity limiter. Basically we used the fruity limiter as a compressor as well. As you can see, there's limiter and compressor. All right, what we did was we went ahead and pushed the threshold down and we moved the ratio up a fast attack and a slower release right here as you guys can see on the man homie on the man homie you see this blue right here is where it's basically taking away and that's what we did for that guys that's what we did for those compressors right there so those compressed our vocals to give us a good range and a pretty solid range so we can hear everything correctly next thing we did guys you already know man the sweet oh good sound good eyes are guys um we went ahead and used the preset C, and I'll go through these presets, and you can just see we just moved it up just a smidgen. And what we used the uh, sound goodizer for is just to get that presence in our voice, um, almost to give it a, um, a you know, because a lot of times when we're recording into the box, it's a lot of digital sounding things. So we basically used the sound goodizer kind of to get that vintage sound. You feel me? That analog sound in my ears. That's how I look at it. So I'm going to play um, this preset C, and then I'm going to go along and kind of move this up so you guys can hear what this does. All right? I'm the man, 
man home, me and the man home Please don't dab me up, I don't really know you You the type that can't move without a whole crew Type the wife a shorty who done ran the whole crew You ain't wife her, nigga, she wiped you, oh no You ain't know that shorty was a hoe Don't know what part of the game that got so yeah guys, you guys can see what that does, man. You already know that's one of my favorite plugins on FL Studios, man. It's a stock plugin. Find out about it, you feel me? Just play with the knobs. It's a pretty easy plugin, just get with it. Next thing we did, guys, it's really uh big for Nav because he's an ambient, he always has that ambient sound. So with that ambient sounds come reverb, all right? We had this reverb right here, and we used the sub bus as I like to call it right here. As you can see, it is one fourth the way around. The more you have it, the more it takes effect on the vocal. So I'm gonna just go ahead and play this for you guys so you guys can hear what this basically does. I'm the man homie, I'm the man home, please don't dab me up, I don't really know you You the type that can't move without a whole crew Type the wife a shorty who done ran the whole crew You ain't wife her, nigga, she wiped you, oh no I know you guys can hear clearly what happened when I turned off that plug-in and turned it back on, guys It puts you in an atmosphere, otherwise you have a really dry vocal and you do not want a dry vocal Like I said, who likes dry juice, you feel me? Get with it or get lost, you feel me? Next thing we did, guys, is we got the fruity delay now, as I told you guys before, if you have a good producer, he's going to put the BPM in the title name. So, shout out to Sled one more time. So, basically, before I even started recording, guys, I put 110 in the BPM, guys, because I knew I was going to put a delay in here. So, once you put 110 in here, guys, it's easy. You feel me? You right-click time, set, and there's the steps, guys. For this, we have it on step three. If you want it on step four... Boom, it's going to be on step four. If you want to know step eight, it's on step eight. You feel me? So basically what that is, is just the timing of the delay, you guys. And when you put in your BPM, the timing is always going to be right. So make sure you guys are doing that. I'm right. I'm the man, homie. I'm the man, homie. Please don't dab me up. I don't really know you. You the type that can't move without a whole crew. Type the wife a shorty who done ran the whole crew. You ain't wife her, nigga. She wiped you. Oh, no. So yeah, guys, that's what a correct delay sounds like. And let's get into these background vocals, guys. This is what we're going to get into here. I know you guys like the nav background vocals. It kind of rides with the track and really sets a tone for the track. So let's get into this right now, guys. Everything is the same from the main vocal over to the background so just copy that over and we're gonna get rid of a couple different things guys first thing you see we don't have a sound good eyes what we have here is a fruity flanger now this fruity flanger allows for that effect that kind of wiggle effect that kind of makes it sound like it's really in an ambient space so I'm gonna go ahead and play this with and without it for you guys so you can see what it really does whoa, 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 whoa. Magic, I already know guys, Fruity Flanger. The next thing we changed guys is the second parametric EQ guys. We wanted to put it in kind of a telephone filter, but like I said, we still had that top part, um, which is a regular EQ, but we just wanted to actually throw that EQ into another EQ to kind of give it like a mixed EQ type of effect. So what we did was we did a high pass cut and a low pass cut. We did a, a low pass cut at about 2900 range, and we did a high pass cut at the 397 hertz range. And we boosted up in the middle at the uh, 1000 range just to get that kind of like a mid rangey type of sound. And it gives us this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's magic, guys. You already know how we rock it. And since it's a background vocal, guys, you already know we went ahead and moved up the um, reverb just a little bit, um, just to push it more in the background. And we went ahead and did the same thing with the delay as well, just to keep it a little bit more ambient than the actual lead vocal. And you already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Q that Rude Boy, aka The Wave Man, 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 man. See you next time, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on the notifications. You already know how I rock it, man.